So have you ever had a bless your heart moment? Uh, by the way, the bike that Micah was riding that went into the bottom of the Grand River was Mark's oldest son's <laughs> old bike that he had given to us. So I know you said Mark would have just gone and bought a new bike, but you know, it's got history. Bless his heart. Yeah, you were a super dad right there. Yeah. Maybe we might need to bring that story back up for Father's Day. <laughs> you know, that, that story is going to, I'm going to get a lot of mileage of that story with, as a pastor. So, Andrew, you ever had a bless your heart moment with those yeah, bagpipes yeah, so or I, anything? I was trying to think of it. My son's behind me. If you, remember, you weren't with me, though. Was it Denali? My daughter is Denali, and I was mad we need a battery, right? So we go out to the hardware store, like local place. All I got to do is get a battery, bring that back. And instead, um, they have, have you ever had Chuckles? Chuckles candy? Yeah, yeah. Greatest candy of all time. It was made in 1950, and then they stopped, I think. And so if you ever find it, it's from 1950. They had a a case of it right up front. And I looked at my daughter. I'm like, we need all those. And I spent $60 on candy that was expired and brought it home. And my wife just looked at me like, you needed a battery. Why did you get all this expired candy? Because everybody say it with me. Bless Bless your your heart. heart. Bless your heart. heart. Bless oh my heart. goodness, I got a story now. Like, yes, I, I said, I didn't say bless your heart at this moment, but this is definitely a bless your heart moment. Uh, it was one of our anniversary trips. Me and my husband went, I think we might have been in Connecticut or something. And for some reason, we were in this candy store and he saw all these gummy bears and he <laughs> got excited. So he I bought would, yeah, $60 worth of, candy, Whoa, of gummy bless bears. Bless his heart. So, yes, bless your heart. All right, David. that's reminding me of another story, but I want to, like, Alona says, that her version of bless her heart is good luck with that. I love hearing all the different <laughs> versions of bless your heart. I like that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, give us your version. That's a good one. So um, I'm realizing that I've had lots of bless your heart moments that I don't think about in the like at the time. For example, a, a lot of them revolve around the church. I can't tell you the number of times that I have locked my keys in my office because I accidentally let the door shut. One time, bless your heart. I locked my keys <laughs> in the office. I did not have my phone, so I did not have a way to call anybody to ask them to come help me. <laughs> Luckily, there was a closet that was unlocked that had a computer in it, and I was able to Facebook message Carola and say, "Please come <laughs> let me wow. uh, into the office." That was like the officers, <laughs> officer, office manager's version of MacGyver. Was <laughs> right. finding the spare. Yeah. Computer. Well, I, I was like, please let this be unlocked. Please let this in be the unlocked. unlocked. <laughs> in the <laughs> Bless your heart. Everybody say it with me to Gretchen. Bless your, bless your, bless heart. your heart. All right. Well, hey, let's get back to Mark and I at Birchfield Park. See how many more bless your hearts we can get in this message. 